Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in this Pi game tutorial series. In the last episode, we looked at how we can create health bars for the character and the enemy. And as you can see on the screen right now, the health bars, they look nice. And if we walk into the enemy, we lose health. And if we shoot the enemy, you can see that the enemy loses a little bit of health. Although we should down the line increase the bullet damage that our player does to the enemy because otherwise um, it'll take too long to kill the enemy. But in today's episode, we want to implement a mechanic that allows us to give the player that we control a couple of lives. So you can see that when I lose all my health, hold on, let me lose all my health, our player remains on screen and alive. And we don't want that. We want the player to die and a screen to come up, allowing us to reset the game when we have no more health. So we are going to begin by first removing the hitboxes. Uh, I sort of kept them in, these small black boxes, but we don't need them anymore. We initially used them for visualization purposes, but let, let me go ahead and get rid of them. Um, and then we will go ahead and create the um, mechanic for lives. So let me go ahead and delete this rectangle and the second rectangle we need to delete is um, this one down here. So we've gone ahead and deleted both of them and now let me quickly check that they're deleted. Yep, the black boxes around our characters are gone. Okay, so on to the life mechanic. We are going to first introduce a new um, a new variable in our class hero. We are going to say that we have a couple of lives. So we are going to say that self dot lives is equal to one. So at the beginning, we're just going to give the player which we control one single life. And we are going to then go down to the um, class enemy and the function hit. So let me close this class down, open the enemy class down to the function hit. And in the function hit, we want to make a couple of adjustments. Initially, we said that the player should be losing health as soon as he walks into the enemy. But we need to adjust this a little bit. We need to say that the player only loses health if his health is greater than zero. So we're going to say that player player.health is greater than zero, then we want player.health to be uh, decreased by one. And we also need to make sure that if we then have no more health, we want to lose a life. So if the player.health is equal to zero, so we have no more health left, and the player dot lives is greater than zero, then we want to decrease the number of lives. Hold on, let me just get that right. Then we want to decrease the number of lives and reset the health. So player dot lives minus equals one, and in addition, then to reset the health, player.health is equal to 30, I think it was. Let me just quickly check. Uh, initially, we gave the hero, uh, which is the player we control, a health of 30. Yep, and we are resetting it to 30 when we lose a life. So let's go ahead and make sure that this works by running it once. And now what should happen is that once we lose all our health, so once the health bar of my character goes entirely red, it should reset and turn green again. So let's see if that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and walk into the enemy and you'll see that I am losing life. And once I lose all my life, my health resets. But then what happens when I lose my life again is it resets over and over and over again. Um, until there is no more lives left, which is now. 
and then we can still continue playing with no health. So we have made a step forward, but there's still a couple of things we need to do. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and print or we're going to show how many lives we have in the top right hand corner of our screen. So remember all the things concerning the drawing of our game are in the draw game function. So let us go to the draw game function and make it a little bit more orderly by adding a couple of comments. Uh, over here we are drawing the player and beneath that we are drawing the bullets, hashtag draw bullets. And beneath that we are drawing the enemies, draw enemies. And finally, we need to delay and update. So uh, I'm going to add one final comment down here saying that we delay and update. Okay, so now that we have it commented really nicely um, and it's easier to understand, we are going to uh, add the lives to the top right hand corner of our screen. So let me go ahead and add another comment, which is going to be player, player health. And then beneath that, we are going to write the code necessary for displaying the um, number of lives that we have. So first off, we are going to choose a font. So we're going to write font is equal to pygame, pygame.font.font. .font. And we are going to simply choose a um, font, a sort of standard font. I'm going to copy paste it in. So free sans bald dot ttf and we are going to take uh, the, the second argument over here is the size in pixels of the font. And in addition to that, we are also going to write a text and then we have to write font dot render. And the arguments that it takes is first the um, text. So we want to display the lives. So we're going to write lives and then add a colon and a space. And in addition to that, we're going to add a string and then output the player player dot lives. Okay. And subsequently we need to add another argument and we are going to add true over here because the third argument over here here asks if anti-aliasing is meant to be on or off and we're simply going to um, put it on by um, yeah writing true over here but it doesn't matter for now uh, it, it just uh, you can put it on false but uh, it won't make a difference um, but you have to add an argument there so let's just put that in and in addition to that we need to make sure that we have the color of the text and we're going to display the color of the number of lives which we have in black, which is zero, 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 if I remember correctly. And in a final statement, we need to make sure that we are um, sort of displaying the text onto our window. So we're going to write win.blit and pass in the arguments text and the um, coordinates of where we want to of where we want to display this text and we're going to do it in the top right hand corner so we're going to write 650 and 20 all right so that should work let's go ahead and check so yeah in the top right corner you can now see the number of lives which we have uh, so let me try and lose a life so i'm going to run into the enemy we're losing life and yep you'll see that the number of lives on the top right corner jumped to zero from one. Now let me go ahead and lose the last life that we have. And yeah, now you can see that the number of lives is still decrementing to minus one. Not entirely what we want. So let's go ahead and in the next step, um, make sure that the number of lives uh, stops at zero and that we get a sort of restart option screen uh, for when we have no more life left. Okay, so the first thing we want to change is we want to add another variable 
to our heroes class, and this variable is going to be self dot alive. Alive. And it is going to be true for whenever we are alive as a player. So by default, it is going to be true because at the beginning of the game, uh, the player is, of course, alive and well. And then we need to move on to the hit um, function in the enemy class. And over here, we need to make a couple of adjustments. We need to first say that if the player dot lives is z greater than zero, uh, then we want to decrease the number of lives. So by decreasing this, uh, by deleting this equal sign over here, we uh, remedy, we have a solution for the problem of having negative lives. So that won't happen anymore because right now we are only going to decrease the number of lives if the available number of lives is greater than zero. And then we need to move on and say that if uh, over here, elif, elif uh, player health is equal to zero. So if we have no more health and the player lives, player dot lives dot lives is equal to zero. So if we have no more health left in our health bar, and in addition to that, we have no more lives left, we want to go ahead and say that our player has died. So we're going to change the variable of uh, the alive uh, variable in the player, uh, in, the, in the hero class to false. Okay, so now we have changed the state of our um, uh, variable alive, and we want to then go ahead and say that if we die, we want to get a menu screen that allows us to restart the game. So back in the draw function of our game, we are going to, oh, I made a typo over here. This should say health. Yeah, so down over here, we want to go ahead and expand on this uh, section. We're gonna write that if player, if player dot alive is equal to false, false. So basically if our player is dead, we need to go ahead and fill the screen with uh, the color uh, white, I think it is. Yeah, so win dot fill and pass in the RGB uh, code 000 for white color. And then we want to have the screen say, um, you died and you can press R to restart. So we're gonna say font is equal to, I'm gonna just copy and paste that from before because we're using the same font. And I'm gonna copy and paste this line of code for the text we used before, but I'm gonna change it to say, you died. You died, exclamation mark, press R to restart. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, let me go ahead and um, make sure that we got everything right. So there's a couple more things we need to add. We, of course, need to place the text in the middle of our screen. So we're going to go ahead and say that uh, we want to get the rectangle of the text. So text um, text rect is equal to text dot text dot get underscore rect. And we are going to define the center of this by saying text rect rect is equal to, oh, hold on, dot center, I mean, dot center is equal to uh, window width, window underscore width, floor divided by two, and window height, divide, floor divided by two. Okay, so that gives us the center of our um, text. And then we, of course, want to display the text, and we always do that using the blit. Uh, function. So we're going to write win, which is short for 
window, uh, which is the surface where we're drawing our game. And we're going to write win blit and then text as well as text rect. Okay, so that looks nice. And finally, of course, we need to say that when we die, we want to be able to restart. So we're going to say that if the user input uh, is the R key on our keyboard, because over here we say press R to restart. So of course we need to make R the key uh, that allows us to restart. We're going to say pi game pi game dot key underscore R, and that listens for whenever R is being pressed. And when we press the key R, we want to reset the state of the player to being alive. So we're going to write alive is equal to true. We're going to write player dot lives is equal to one. So we're going to reset the number of lives our player has to one life. And we are going to uh, reset the health. So player dot health is equal to 30 points. OK, so that should do the deal. Let me go ahead and run this and see if we have managed to accomplish what we wanted. So you'll notice now in the right hand upper right hand corner we have the number of lives which is one. I'm going to run into the enemy. I'm going to lose a life and now I'm going to die a second time after I have no more lives left and now I get a black screen. And I know why I get a black screen now because I forgot to change the color of the text. So right now it's printing black text on a black um, background which is of course not good. So we want to go ahead and change the color of this um, to white. Let me go ahead and do this. So now it should work. Uh, let me go ahead and die again. So I'm going to die once. Um, my health resets and now I get to die another time. And now I died. And now, you, now it says press R to restart. So let me go ahead and press R on my keyboard. And I have reset and I have one more life left. And this is exactly the state that we uh, wanted. So now I can show you that this works indefinitely. So I've lost a life. Now let me lose the second life again. And we are dead once again and can press R to restart. So this mechanic works without a problem. And this is exactly where we are going to leave it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, then make sure to give this video a like. It helps it out a lot. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe if you want to stay updated on this series. And we'll see each other in the next video.